Yes, today we are here to, to celebrate a, a life that is well led. Auslebu and the children, our deepest condolences to you for the loss of your husband, your father, and a, 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 a pillar of your family. Solimo Holo did what many Christians fail to do, which is to go and make the whole world Jesus' disciples. The problem with Christians sometimes is that they tend to preach to the converted. And so they, they, they form churches as some kind of clubs you know, exclusive clubs, they even fight there. If you think the politics within the ANC and so on are bad, just go to a church. It's worse, it's worse there than the politics because they are fighting over church funds, being on the council of the church. It, it has become a small club that has lost its mission. The mission is to go out there and make all mankind Jesus' disciples, and this is what he did. Because in a recent podcast, he was asked, don't you mind that people are playing your music in, in, in taverns? He says, no, that's exactly where it, that music is needed. It's exactly, because hey, I better, I better get my, my things straightened. And when we come to a funeral, sometimes it's less about the person who has passed away, but more about us, whether we are, re we are ready to learn that our day is also coming. And whether or not when that day comes, we will be ready to face our maker and answer whether we did what his mandate as well, what is called in the Bible the Great Commission. Go out there and make the whole of humankind, my disciples. So that way we can say, Solimo Holu, you have fought a good fight. You have run a good race. You have kept the faith. And each of us must ask ourselves the question, if when you leave this hall, you drop dead, Will you be ready to face your maker? But that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to get that out of the way and just talk about the fact that this society has failed Solimo Hole. It, it's as simple as that. A couple of weeks ago, there was a, a, a white chap called Tom Tom London, he was in a public hospital. Uh, I think it was Helen Joseph Hospital. And he was disgusted by the treatment he got there. He, was, he made a very big noise. Within two days, and I don't even have to tell you who gave him money, but he was in a private hospital having raised 300,000 rands to move from Helen Joseph to a private hospital. So the question is, as black people, have we given up on ourselves for self-determination that even someone who's an icon, our icon, we fail to raise 700,000 rands? With all the stock fails we have, all the businesses we have, all the BEE deals, that the NC has given you. <laughs> there was nobody who could just sign a check of seven. Where, where are these BEE people? Because we understand the BEE has been very successful. There are 1,000 black, uh, what do you call it, black industrialists. But it was not enough to save a life of somebody who's an icon. I think this is a bloody shame. It's a total shame. 
And I didn't even know half of the story that we are told here today about the fact that even after moving him to a, a private public facility, it became worse. It became worse. When are we going to stand up as a black nation and understand that we are on our own? I cannot believe that somebody as prominent as Solimu Holo, all of us could not raise 700,000 rands. With all the spaza shops we own, all the businesses we own, all the professionals in high-ranking jobs, CEOs of companies, n nobody, nobody was shaken enough to say, let's put this money there. Of course, life is not guaranteed. Now, other people say, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, we don't know. Even if we pay the money, he, he may still have passed. No, no, no. The, the reason you have hospitals is to make sure you do not have people passing unduly early. That's why otherwise you not have doctors. Most. Doctors are there to save lives. And unfortunately, those things cost money. I'm even shocked that now you even received the bill of 93,000 rands from a public facility. I hope Memo Koyani will take that up. This is a total shame. It shouldn't happen. But to, 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 to just fathom the fact that as a black nation, forget about other people, we could not rally together, right, to save a life that we so adore. And it's this tendency, it's, it's a tendency to, 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 to like funerals. I don't know where this tendency comes from. So the government agreed yesterday that, oh, there'll be a provincial funeral. Oh, let me tell you, without even having the facts, that I'm sure that cost of that designation as an official funeral will cost millions. It will cost four times what you could have spent to save a life of a person. Now you come and we must ululate that you have now made it a provincial funeral. No, this is nonsense. It is nonsense, and we must not tolerate it as a society. Uh, two days ago, I think, uh, uh, the, the Malema was talking about a, a black company called Drip. Drip, yeah, Drip. Yeah. I, I, I tried to support them. And when I went to try and get another pair, I found their shop closed in Santin. And all they need is 20 million rand not to get into trouble. We've got IDC, NEF, PIC. We've got all these organizations that are meant to support black organizations that are failing in their basic duty to support black businesses. So it is not an isolated thing to say, oh, they failed to support solely, and I will come to the artists now. Because also, it's not a complete story to just blame government. We, we also need to say, and I'm not sure whether the Minister of Arts and Culture is here, because it's quite loud, but we want to see whether that loudness will translate into action. Why is there no program to support artists to turn their art into business and they are given support so that they are able to manage their finances, they are able to actually make a success of those businesses. I'm not aware of a solid program like that. If it's there, it's too quiet. And hopefully, that minister, besides the gimmicks of, 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 of what you call, a, a, I don't know, this cars, this, this way they do this cars that are they are battered cars. Without those gimmicks, can we just talk about taking care of our artists? I'm sure there's a speech somewhere that's already drafted about artists dying as paupers. And the minister looks like he's waiting for an artist to die, and then he takes out their speech and says, our artists should not die as paupers. They have been saying that 
since Paul Mashadile was Minister of Arts and Culture, every single Minister of Arts and Culture has said something like that. But zero action. Zero. Now, now coming to the artists. The artists must also take responsibility. Because there are some artists who, when they receive a big check, they go and blow it all on cars and BE issues and other things. And then but all Lamo Basnachalete at the end of the day. So we this thing is a societal issue of attitude change for all of us. Government must do its job. Society must wake up and realize that we are on our own. Then the artists themselves must understand that generally nobody owes you anything. You've got to be responsible. You get two rand, pay your medical aid in advance. You know? You get some gig, save, invest so that your children don't starve when you are gone, right? But my underlying message is a simple one. We have failed Solimoholo as this nation, and we must hang in shame, and so on. What Muzaki was saying is true. A number of SABC radio stations, you must call them out, SABC, was not playing the music of Solimoholo. Hey, they are playing it every two minutes. I want by 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 some every two minutes. Get unfair, maybe I know. Because we've got a tendency to celebrate people after their demise. When they are alive, we don't give them their flowers. It's a total shame, actually, to find that the public broadcaster that's supposed to elevate our icons doesn't do that. But talk of Alepili. I talk of it about, hey, I'm not saying retiring. Because everybody now is playing the music. Every corner you hear the music everywhere. We've got to wake up as a society and understand that we are on our own to build this nation so that all of us can enjoy the fruits of our freedom. So, Limuhulu. You have done your part. You fought a good fight. Go well, my brother.